today we are at the House of Blues Orlando at Disney Springs and we are trying out weekend brunch. This is our first time here and it is on Saturdays and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Afternoon, you can also access their full menu, but we are here for the brunch. All right, so for brunch here, I'm gonna go over the menu a little bit. This is, uh, you know, a typical brunch menu, but a good twist on things. So we've got a breakfast burrito. That's what we've got coming today. Um, and we've got a breakfast sandwich. And we saw the pictures on Instagram for this. Looks amazing. But they also have some more of your traditional things like steak and eggs. We've got grits and shrimp. Um, they've got your regular like breakfast. Um, it's called barnyard breakfast. It's two farm fresh eggs, home fries, your choice of sausage and bacon, uh, white or wheat toast. And then you can always add biscuits and gravy. They also have, uh, aside from like their entrees, um, they've got fixins. So you can get just two eggs, you can get bacon, sausage, uh, biscuit and gravy. So for today, we got brown sugar chili bacon and biscuit and gravy because anytime, I'm not a huge breakfast fan, but when we come to eat breakfast anywhere, one thing I always really like to get is biscuits and gravy. So I figured, why not try it out here? And you may have just heard them clapping as well, and that is because right now, they just started this last week, uh, they have live music inside for brunch, and it's pretty good. I mean, this is House of Blues, so they are playing that more um, bluesy rocks type of uh, genre, uh, but it's pretty good so far. We're enjoying it, and it's gonna be a good time. Now for drinks, they do have their full bar available. They also have just some breakfast, like orange juice. However, they have bottomless mimosas and Bloody Marys for $15. So of course, I had to get the bottomless mimosas, so. I better get to seven. So we had a moment to try our food and we thought we would talk about it. So I'm gonna talk about the burrito. This is a flour tortilla, fries, three over easy farm fresh eggs, maple spiked pork sausage, braised peppers and onions, cilantro crema, uh, cotija and tillamook, tillamook cook, tillamook, tillamook, cheddar cheese, and roasted salsa. 15 bucks. I just have to come right out and say it. Best breakfast burrito I have ever had. Literally the best one. Now, it is extremely good. Um, I would come back and eat this time and time again. What really sets this thing off, I think, is the roasted like salsa that they put over top of that. You know, they put over the like the entire burrito. Um, and then it's just like the combination of flavors that you have inside there. The braised peppers and onions, these are uh, big slices of peppers, both green and red. Plus you've got the onion in there. Uh, and then not to mention that it is just a huge serving to begin with. Now it is not served with a side and that is kind of why they have the fixings down at the bottom. But for 15 bucks, I would totally come back, get this again. I don't need a side with it. I'm not even gonna be able to eat the whole thing. I'm gonna take half of it home. One of the server guys came by and he's like, bitch, you can't eat that. And I'm like, I can't eat it all. But it is fantastic. This is the biscuit and gravy. It's $4. Um, it's just one biscuit with the gravy. It's your classic style uh, sausage gravy. Pretty good. I, it's not, I think sometimes some gravy, this might sound weird, is a little too sausagey. As in, it's a little potent on the flavoring. Um, and this was just like a nice balance. I know it sounds a little weird. And I can't really find a good way to describe it other than it was just a nice creamy gravy um, that went really well with the biscuit and I ate the entire thing, which is probably why I can't eat all of my burritos. So I got the breakfast sandwich. This is an everything brioche bun, maple pork sausage, an over easy egg, thick cut bacon, pastrami, buffalo aioli, cheddar cheese, pickled onion, and it's served with a side of garlic home fries. Now I know Josh already said that was the best burrito he's ever had for breakfast. This is honestly probably the best breakfast sandwich I've ever had. I think the combination of flavors in there just really did it for me, especially because there was some good like balance of texture as well. So one thing I was really afraid of was the pickled onion. I didn't think that was really gonna go with this dish. However, I had a bite with the pickled onion and without the pickled onion. And the you have to have the pickled onion. It like, there's something about it that just balances out the whole entire sandwich. Now all of the different meats in there, I could definitely just eat on their own. They were amazing. But this whole sandwich, just all together, mm, 
It was so good. And the everything brioche bun. I love a brioche bun because they're nice and buttery and soft and they kind of smoosh down real easy, which normally I don't like a bun that smooshes down, but with this, it was perfect. And then that egg yolk that just ran through the whole thing. This is a breakfast sandwich that I will think about. <laughs> so we got an additional fix-in, which I believe Josh mentioned, which is the brown sugar chili bacon. And it was really good. I honestly don't even think it needs the chili part to it, but it does give it a little bit of kick and heat. However, I love brown sugar on bacon. It just gives it this little bit of sweetness with the smokiness of the bacon. Mm. Was very good side. So I've actually eaten here at House of Blues before and I don't think I ever really posted the video but I came here with Nate and it was just after NBA Experience had opened up um, and we did the buffet that they had at the back of the restaurant which was pretty good and to be honest with you when I tried that the first time I was kind of like I don't really think that there's anything special here about House of Blues but picking off of this brunch menu itself this blows everything else out of the water for me. Um, like I said, I would, I'm not a breakfast person, but I would love to come back and have this burrito again. Whenever I've always thought about brunch or breakfast here in Disney Springs, the first thing that comes to mind is, did you get it? Did you guess? Yeah. Chef Art Smith's homecoming, of course. Buttermilk, fried chicken, and the biscuits, everything they have got there. This has officially pushed that back to number two. This would be number one. And uh, I just, I can't get over it. It's really, really good. And what's great too is that um, it's not super busy here right now. Um, they have a ton of seating. They are abiding by all of the social distancing standards that have been set. And uh, they were even actually taking walk-ups today. So you don't necessarily have to have a reservation, it sounds like, but of course you should always have one before you come because, well, it just guarantees that you've got a table to sit at when you come, obviously. Sorry, I just can't get over. All right, so we just finished eating here at House of Blues, and it was fantastic. Great meal. It really was. Taylor's a little on the tipsy side. Don't say that. That's leaving. We're going to leave that one in. <laughs> I think uh, bottomless mimosas, she had maybe five. So she no, definitely I think got... I had four. Okay, well, close enough. She got her money's worth, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But really great. Um, it's a nice place to come in, relax, hang out. Uh, it has definitely filled up since we checked in. I think they basically have yeah. everything that they can see was seated. Yeah. It was good. It was a really good brunch. When I saw that there was a breakfast sandwich on the menu, because it doesn't say anything very specific when it just says breakfast sandwich, yeah. but then the description, it was like, Looked oh my good. gosh, I have to get this. It sounded good. Yeah, and it was amazing. So in total, because you guys are always asking how much it costs, for brunch today, we've got two entrees, two sides, two, two drinks. Two fixins. Two fixins. It was uh, about 65 bucks, and that was before the tip. So. Uh, maybe a little bit more on the expensive side, but I think the portion sizes were really decent. I, I do mean, too, and I think for a brunch, especially with the bottomless mimosas, oh yeah, I thought that was a pretty good price. Me too. Um, and the drink that I got, that uh, uh, what was that like morning mule for mm -hmm. nine dollars? I think that wasn't too bad. No, that's those are pretty decently priced cocktails, yeah. I think. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think I would definitely come back here, eat again, and we would recommend that you guys do it too. Yeah, so let us know if you have ever had brunch at the House of Blues.